Hey guys, it's Brittany back with another video. Today's topic is going to be an update on the previous video I did about straightening my hair using castor oil and eventually having to use the Tresemme dry shampoo. Now, if you're joining me for the first time, I did mention in the previous video that um, using the castor oil, I use it on my on my scalp and my ends. And it, it ended up making my hair very heavy, very greasy feeling. Now, I've mentioned before that when I wear my hair straight, I have to use very, very light products, if anything, at all. So that was my first time using castor oil, and I wasn't aware that it was going to be uh, such, a, such a thick oil. So I ended up trying to use the Tresemme dry shampoo, and that didn't really work out either. Um, in the video, I ended... I ended the video just using um, a few sprays of it. I did go back and try to use a bit more. Um, I did feel a slight difference then, but not enough for me to continue using the product, especially since it has oil in that, and we do want to avoid using any products that do have that. Um, so I'm going to go through the, my entire process again of washing my hair and straightening it. Uh, now let's talk about the first step. Uh, the first step is going to be, I'm going to wash my hair with the Pantene Truly Relax Hair Intense Moisturizing Shampoo. Now again, yes, I'm aware that this says Truly Relax. Um, like I said before, I thought, it, I thought it was the Relax and Natural line because they look exactly the same. Pantene no better than that. But um, it is, it's moisturizing shampoo and it is true to its word. Most products are not necessarily, don't necessarily fall into that category. But no, it is a very good shampoo. I've been using Pantene all my life. I haven't changed at all and I haven't had any issues okay so I'm going to wash my hair probably do about two two to three washes depending on how I feel how my hair feels after the second one um, and then I'll be back and we'll go over the conditioning okay. okay so now my hair is washed and I ended up only doing two shampoos uh, it wasn't necessary for me to do a third one my hair here feels very soft so that's good all that stuff I did to it in the last go around I don't have to do much to it this time, which is good because I don't didn't want to spend another five freaking hours doing that all that. So anyway, what I do is I once I condition it, when I'm getting ready to condition it, I put it in two sections, at least two. Um and sometimes I do that when I shampoo too. If my hair is really tangled, I'll I'll shampoo per section. Um, but it wasn't necessary this time, obviously, because my hair wasn't that tangled. Thank goodness. Um, I was afraid that it would be a little tangled because my hair felt so heavy. But, all right, so now we're going to get to the ORS, Olive Oil Replenishing Conditioner. So I'm going to take a good amount of this. And I usually start from the ends and then I work my way up. So, Okay. I'm going to let this sit on my hair for maybe 10 minutes. It doesn't really need any more, again, because I, I did all of that just a few days ago. The instructions say 10, 10 to 15 sit under warm dryer. You don't, you don't need to do that. Like I said, I'm going to let it sit for 10. I let it sit for 20 last time. Um, but I'm going to put a shower cap on my head and probably wrap it up. Uh, and then I'll be back to wash it out. Okay. Okay, so it's been maybe a little over 10 minutes now. And I'm going to take it down. Oh, man, it feels amazing. And I'm just going to comb through. Now, if I let this sit for any longer, like, and then my hair got dry, I, I'll, I would spritz it with, um, with some water because you don't want to comb through your hair while it's dry. Wash it. Again, and then I'm going to um, spritz it a little bit with some apple cider vinegar. I'm doing apple cider vinegar rinse. In this spray bottle, you could use a spray bottle, or I have one of those squirt bottles too that sometimes I use it in. Um, and I just spray directly on my scalp, and it's going to run through. You could spray your your strands as well. Um, I use, I think about one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Um, either way, it should be like a one to one, one to four, one to three um, ratio of apple cider vinegar to water. Okay, so I'm going to wash my hair. I'll probably wash it by section. Sometimes that's easier, as I, as I mentioned before. Do the apple cider vinegar. Let that sit for about a minute. Rinse that through again. And then we're going to get started on the blow dry. All right. All right, guys. So done sectioning. Um, I ended up doing nine sections. 
this big section right here needs to be split up more with the one, two, and three. That's where the, again, that's where the four C came into play. So, all right, I'm going to show you how to do this one section. I always start from the back. It's just a habit. Um, it doesn't really matter because, uh, well, actually, this time it doesn't matter because I'm probably going to leave it out. But typically, when I use the flat iron to straighten my hair, I, um, I put it back up in the sections because I flat iron it in sections as well. All right, so. Well, I'm going to go through the other sections and I'm going to section, I'm going to put this back up actually. I know I said I wasn't going to do that this time, but it just makes me feel better, makes it life more organized. Um, I'm going to do the rest and then I'm going to be back and show you how I roll a set. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, blow dried out the rest of my hair as you can see. Now, I told you guys, it would take me... 45 minutes tops to blow dry the rest of my hair. It took me freaking 30 minutes. Oh my God. You have no idea how excited I am. <sighs> okay. Anyway. So what did I do? What did I do? Um, That's it. I, I, well, I blow dried it as straight as possible again since I'm going to set it. So I still want that straight kind of effect. Um, And depending on how... The roller set comes out. I may go back and flat iron like around the um around my roots or whatever. But um I don't really need it. Actually, I need it like right here for whatever reason. This little these this little section right here refuses. It's still like a tiny bit of a wave. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll go back to that if necessary. So let's get to the um to the setting. So I'm gonna do one roller. Trust me, you guys do not want to see me set my entire head. It's a disaster. But it looks good when I do one. So, <laughs> uh, we're going to use the, well, I'm going to use the Jane Carter Solutions Wrap and Roll uh, for smooth styles, wrapping, and setting hair. It's pretty good. Um, like I mentioned in the, in the last video, it doesn't leave a sticky residue and it dries pretty quickly. So, I won't have to sit on the dryer for a while. And then my set of magnetic rollers, as you see here. Um, so, all right, let's get to it. And, oh, and I also have my rat tail comb. So what I'm going to do, I am going to make one set. All right. Okay. So I'll see you guys in a bit when I'm done. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and go in the dryer and then I'll come back after everything is set. All right. Hey guys. All right. So I'm back. Um, I finished it and then the dryer it was about 45 minutes. Um, so actually I had to go back under for a few more minutes. I took, I did take one roll out, but it wasn't completely dry. So I went back under for another 10 minutes. So 55. Um, all right. So I'm going to take this down. Um, hopefully, I don't have to use the flat iron, but by the looks of it right now, there may be some pieces that may need it just on the, um, in the, like, in the root section. Okay, so let's take this down. By the looks of it, yes, I am going to have to hit the flat iron to it. Just a few pieces. So let me get that together right now. And then um, it should be done. Uh, okay, so now to do this, I'm going to use the um, Remington 
Okay, I don't know what the recipe is called. <laughs> I don't know where the box is. But this works pretty well. It has um, only three settings. So right here, I have it to 390. It's 370, 390, and 410. So I never, I try not to go up to 410, just leave it at the 390. And that's it now. Got my wide tooth comb. Okay, that is the finished product. So as you can see, this is this is what happens in my hair when it comes out. It's supposed to it falls all over the place. <laughs> with with the castor oil in my hair, and let me stress, I'm not a castor oil. I'm not against it or anything, it just didn't work for me. Um, but I know a lot of people that actually do condone it and I have seen the results in their hair, so that's why I decided to try it. But um, I'm just gonna have to try a different method. So that is, so that's it guys. Um, have a happy holiday, happy new year. Um, see you guys on the flip, right? <laughs>